Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Uh, before we get started, I'd just like to um, ask for some tutorial suggestions. So just leave what you want in future tutorials in the comment section below. Uh, if you see one that's already been posted and you like the idea, uh, be sure to thumb it up. Uh, obviously so I can see it, obviously, and I know that more people will want that tutorial. Um, so yeah, I think that's all covered on that. Uh, let's get started with this tutorial. So today what we're going to be creating is we're going to be creating some metallic like borders um, often used on backgrounds or whatnot. And uh, this is kind of like the sort of outcome uh, you see here. So without further ado, let's get started. File new. And uh, I'm going to change it to white. 12, 8, 7, 20, you know the basic properties. And here we go, double click on this layer to unlock it. And obviously make a new layer and go to the pen tool and you're going to draw out your shape. If you're using this on a YouTube background, obviously you'll have your modules, so you want to draw it around the modules, fitting to what you want. Uh, often used in partnership, partnership, yeah, partnership channels on YouTube. Um, so go ahead, use it for that. Have a practice. Uh, but I'm just going to draw a random shape. So I'm going to draw a shape similar to the one you just saw, like so. Bit random. Nah, you don't want a hard cut. I always like to. There we go. That's looking more like it. There we go. Too far. One more there. There we have it. We've got a bit of a random shape going on. So now, once you've got your path made, right click and go to Fill Path. And because I'm using a white black background, I'm going to fill it with black purely so you can see it in this instant. Now, while your shape is still there, you've still got the path. So you, while still the, having the pen tool selected, uh, just right click and go delete path. And that will delete that for you. And there is your shape. So I can maybe make it a bit bigger without pixelating it. And there we go, hold shift, keep it in proportion. There we go. So now to make it like metallic like, uh, what we're gonna do is you wanna go to some settings. So right click, go blending options. I'm going to add a bevel and emboss. I'm going to drag it up here just so you can see all the settings. And immediately the default settings don't really do much. So we're going to change, leave the style at inner bevel. But we're going to change the technique to chisel hard. And we're going to drastically increase the depth to almost full. And the size also should be increased to something like that. That's looking okay. There we go. Now change both of these highlight mode to normal and alternate the colors as you wish for example white is a bit light and change black to a kind of darkish black as you see here and leaving that at that obviously it doesn't look much we're gonna make it have some color but don't go to color overlay uh, because this will overlay on any of the textures that we'll add later so leave color overlay as it is make a new layer in fact no don't make a new layer and go to this palette tool and choose whatever color you want. So I'm going to choose a kind of darkish gray and just fill it in using the paint bucket tool here. There you go. So now we can go back into editing the shape. Now I like to add an outer glow and make it normal and black. And this kind of shows up a little bit. I can increase the opacity, maybe the size a tad. There we go. And that's looking okay. So one thing that we could do is maybe add an inner shadow, uh, increase the opacity, maybe the size as well, and the choke. Also the distance, so it comes a bit further down. There we go. Give it some drastic colours. And we add an inner glow, you know, just to add some channels. Uh, Bevelin and boss. What can we do here? You could change the white to a dark grey. You know, you can really have a red, I suppose, if you want. If you want to create some some really interesting highlights. Um, I like to stick with a lighter colour, something like that. And maybe go back to a darker grey on the bottom, like so. So we'll leave it at that, maybe tone down the depth, just in fact, no, leave the depth, it's the size, tone down just a tad. There you go, and click OK. But now to go back to this, you see that you've got the textures in the middle. So the first thing we're going to do is going to make a new layer. And we're just going to go to hit D on your keyboard. Now this will reset your values down here to black and white. So we're going to go to re filter, render, and clouds. 
So this will mean the clouds are in black and white as opposed to the two colours you got down here which could be red or blue or whatever, uh, which looks really tacky in my opinion. Now you've got your clouds, obviously it takes up your whole screen, so just right click on the clouds layer and go to create clipping mask. And that should overlay onto that layer you just made. Now click control T while selecting the clouds layer and just shrink the layer a lot until it kind of fits the shape like so just so it's not washed out get that nice bit of white in the middle there and just change the mode to something like soft light that'll be okay and that is looking quite good that's looking a lot better than it was a second ago has that extra depth bit of depth to it and a third thing I'd like to do is um, go over to internet and type in scratched if I can spell scratched metal and go to images and uh, use whatever image you want of scratched metal this will kind of provide the kind of scratches in there and it gives a nice effect uh, I choose this one here so just right click go to copy image and obviously make a new layer and paste image basic copy and paste skills here now rotate it so it fits the kind of direction of your shape extend it out a bit and click the tick button and just right click again and go create clipping mask and you see that's overlaid as well now also you can change the blending mode of this to overlay and um, you see that, that that's, that's looking really nice you've got the deep scratches in there and it's really starting to look as if it's real and it does give an overall nice effect but you can maybe shrink it a bit more so you get more of the scratches in there it's a bit too like that that is looking good and I'm going to leave it there obviously change the settings as you will if you want if you want it to be a lighter color obviously just change the bevel and emboss colors lighter and the color over here lighter and um, change the leisure west uh, that's all for me guys I'm in color chrome designs thank you for watching this video uh, please remember to leave your comment suggestions in the comment your comment sections in the oh, doesn't make sense I'm battled up I've got an also leave me alone uh, remember to leave your tutorial session suggestions in the comment section below um, so yeah that's all for me thanks for watching this video guys I've been Connor Chrome Designs and I'll see you guys soon bye